The universe is far more wondrous than anything we can imagine. So to say I need your creativity and you know, uh, to, to keep your life interesting, we got black holes filleting stars. Life on Earth could have been seeded by Mars. Stars that explode, we watch them explode and we date them from when we see, see them explode. But hell, they'd exploded long ago. If they're a thousand light years away, they exploded a thousand years ago. But you had no knowledge of it until today. The field of astrophysics called gamma ray. We have found microbial life that can survive dehydration, high radiation. Do you realize that if you fall into a black hole, you will see the entire future of the universe unfold in front of you in a matter of moments, and you will emerge into another space-time created by the singularity of the black hole you, you just fell into? You just broke the internet. S talk about that! Mars once had liquid force force forcing on its surface. Ge geologic Marsologic features. You see lake beds. You see all of this. Mars was habitable before Earth was. Asteroid impact. Flames surrounding rocks into interplanetary space. That subset of the variation in a generation can survive that journey through space. We have found what we call extremophiles on Earth that thrive under conditions that would kill us. High pressure, low pressure, high temperature, low temperature, high radiation. All of these conditions, if Mars formed life, then life on Earth could have been seeded by life on Mars, making every life form on Earth a descendant of Martians. We are one bubble of many, prizing an infinite set of bubbles, deserving the retrospectively obvious name, multiverse. So we're just one bubble, and this multiverse is churning them out. Other universes, the laws of physics might be altered from ours. Some universes might be slightly different. Laws. Other universes might be created without matter at all. We're on a one-way expansion trip. We might be able to invent a multiverse transport kit, where you leave your universe and enter another. But I don't recommend that. If the laws of physics are even slightly different, then everything that holds you together would just collapse. If you stepped into the zone of this other universe, there's no telling how our laws of physics would interact. So, you ask what's before the universe, it may be the multiverse. Because, in our experience, the universe never makes anything in one. When we thought Earth is it, no, Earth is just one of many other planets. Well, the Sun is! No, the Sun is one of a billion stars in Milky Way. No, no, there's a hundred billion other galaxies in the universe. The uh, universe? Well, we've been there before. Right. Am I going to say there's one? Because the trend says more. So maybe there's this multi. Well, that just continues to push the question a little deeply. If this entity never makes anything in ones, then why would it only make one multiverse? Maybe there are multiple multiverses. Jesus Christ! Wrap your yourself. head around that, kids. I joke about this half seriously, that if an alien comes to visit, I flip them a coin. If they don't explode, then I'll shake their hand. We needed a word bigger than supernova, hypernova. These are the biggest explosions known in the universe. It comes out in two beams. If you happen to be in the beam, look. Is that sound Sounds like Earth is you have written poetry about it. I, well, it, once it gets in you, you have, you know, the only way it comes out, another one. The atoms and molecules in your body are traceable to the crucibles in stars, manufactured over its lifespan, exploding its guts across the galaxy, scattering it into gas clouds that have the right ingredients to make planets and people. Which means we are part of this universe. Not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us. I think the greatest poetry is revealing the beauty in something so simple you had taken it for granted. That, I think, is the job of the poet.